so design pattern in java object pool pattern so mostly performance is the key issue during software development and the object creation which may be a costly step so object pool pattern says that to reuse the object that are expensive to create so basically an object pool is a container which contains a specified amount of objects and when an object is taken from the pool it is not available in the pool until it is put back and objects in the pool have a life cycle creation validation and the pool helps to manage available resources in a better way and there are many using examples especially in application servers there are data source pools thread pools etc so advantage of object pool design pattern it boosts the performance of the application significantly and it is most effective in a situation where the rate of initializing a class instance is high and it manages the connections and provides a way to reuse and share them and it can also provide the limit for the maximum number of objects that can be created so usage when an application requires objects which are expensive to create example there is a need of opening too many connections for the database then it takes too longer to create the new one and the database server will be overloaded so when there are several clients who need the same resource at different times so object pool design pattern is essentially used in web container of the server for creating thread pools and data source pools to process the requests